the water to the we turned off for the old house now we have to dig down and just find that where the water line is plug it for now so we can turn the water back on so the barn has water The water valve there we thought that valve just turned this line off but it actually branches off to other stuff we need in the barn in the old barn there just plugging this line we'll wait till after the new house is up and then dig a new trench and we want to attach to a line that comes over from the dry cow barn we're not going to have water in our dry cow barn anymore until we get this reattached digging down into the basement now I got a little bit of stone dust. I just wanted to put around the pipe there because we're gonna have to dig this back up and reattach to it at some point. Probably within a month here, once the basement's poured and everything, then we'll get it reattached. We gotta get temporary water set up for the dry cows. There's a water line that runs from the house kind of across the front there. We found that line that went into our old heifer barn off of that main line. And then that water ends up going into the dry cow barn here. That's off, but the heifer barn water's still on coming out of that barn. So we're gonna just run a hose across, sit this water trough in the last stall. It is getting colder this time of year, so this hose could freeze up on us. Hopefully we can get water in before it gets crazy cold in January. So we got that water working. Dad's gonna bring some wood shavings up for the calf barn. There's two basements in this house. Yeah, so about half the house was on their basement and then they had this little crawl space there. The demo guys are done with the house now. It's a little bit that we want to burn in the old basement and then we're gonna bury all that. And they're actually here now laying out our new house. We got the front corner right here and they're stretching string lines out now. So we have to be 65 feet from the center of the road. So that's right here and we're just trying to get it squared up with the barn best we could. There's been a ton of birds in this barn lately. It's been annoying me. Found some holes up there that we think they're getting into. This barn has an overshot. It's supposed to let air out the top. And there's bird netting on it. Keep all the doors closed. Try to keep the birds from being able to get inside the barn. Guess there's a couple holes up here. patch up a couple of these holes we think they're slipping through. It's just a few spots. He's gonna keep working at it because I gotta go get the feeding going. It's just gorgeous out here today. All the gates in the ends of this barn are high and they have bird netting on them. 
keep the garage doors closed. There's been a hundred or more in here. Seems like most of the time lately. Look at all those birds. It is the next morning here. The demo guys got all their stuff cleaned up. They were able to keep a lot of wood from the house too. It's gonna be good. That should help reduce the demo costs if they can get some value from that. Builders were here yesterday. We got the new house laid out, the spot we wanted, and picked the elevation. We didn't have that many options where we could stick the house because the drain field's there from the old house. We wanna save that. We have to be 10 feet from that minimum and 65 feet from the road. So that's pretty much where this is here. We could go that way more if we wanted to, but I don't want to push any closer to that barn or get behind the silos anymore. We were thinking we could have stuck the house over on that side of the yard. Didn't really make sense to us. We're building a two story house, stick frame over a basement. The house is actually a perfect rectangle. Kept the walls straight, a little bit more simple. Not a lot of roof lines on it. It's just gonna be right in this area. It's a two car garage on the one side and that kind of fits in underneath. Some of the upstairs goes above the garage. The basement won't be this full rectangle. There's gonna be a section that's gonna be garage here, but there's gonna be kind of a finger that comes off this way underneath the mudroom area and then a bigger basement under the rest of the house. Should be a nice size basement. It's gonna be four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, all the bedrooms in the upstairs. The builders really wanna get moving with it. Wanna to try to beat the winter, get the concrete in the ground get it framed up and under roof as soon as possible. Monday here, they're gonna start digging out and they wanna get concrete poured at the end of the week. You just look at this old foundation a little bit. Here's the older basement. Pretty sure they'd built this section of the house first and then they added that later, bigger basement. I'm sure it was a lot of work for them to put a basement in. Hand dug, I guess, and then laid the rock in. Pretty impressive. This will all just be front yard then. I guess the driveways almost off the basement there's gonna be a driveway here into the garage kind of nice that the driveway is not right above the basement won't be settling too much then we'll have the excavator dig all these stumps out of here and we're gonna have to figure out what to do with this whole cistern got a pretty big hole in the ground here so should be able to fit a bunch of concrete underneath and then put dirt on top of it thought i'd send the drone up here just to give you a shot with everything down i think i'm gonna enjoy the building more than the demolition a little sad looking at the moment so I wanted to ask everyone for advice on what type of heat system we should put in the house. If you have any advice for me, we're starting from scratch. We'd like to put a system in that we're happy with 10 years, 20 years from now. People ask sometimes what camera I film with. I've been filming with the GoPro Hero 7. I really like the 7. I didn't switch from it because it was working so well. But I just got a GoPro Hero 9 this week. It's got this front screen. I can actually see myself talking to it. From what I'm hearing, it should smooth out the footage a little bit better. And I like it because... It's a little bit bigger, but it doesn't have a case on it. It just has the mount straight on the bottom there. It's actually a little bit smaller than my 7 with the case on it, so it's going to be sweet. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next one.